Hello, good morning viewers. Today's tutorial is about scalar multiplication of matrices. A scalar multiplication of any matrix is just the product of a real number and a matrix, where that real number is used to multiply every single entry in that matrix, or we say every single element in the matrix. So I have some questions here, you can see three of them where we are given a matrix A and matrix B, and we are asked to simplify half of A, 3B, and negative A. So we're going to use a scalar 1 over 2 to multiply every entry or every element in this matrix A. So let's begin with this one. What this means, we have half of A, half of A is exactly equal to half, which is one over two, then multiply by matrix A, which we have here as four, two, three, 12. So we are going to use this one over two to multiply every single element independently in this matrix. And this becomes, we have half of four is the same thing as four over two, Half of 2 is the same thing as 2 over 2. Half of 3 is the same thing as 3 over 2. And finally, half of 12, which is the same thing as 12 over 2. We simplify and obtain our final answer. So this is equal to half of our 4 is 2. We have 2 here. 3 remain 3 over 2 because we can only simplify it to decimal numbers. This is 1. And this is 6. So finally, this is what we have as half of A. It is nothing but just the product of a real number and that matrix. Let us move on to the second one, which is 3B. We are going to use this real number 3 to multiply every entry in this matrix B. So Roman 2, we have 3B. And what does this 3B means? It means 3 multiplied by the whole of these entries. We have negative 3, we have 7, we have 2, we have 0, 1, negative 5. All right, this becomes 3 multiplied by negative 3. So we have negative 3 multiplied by 3. We have 2 multiplied by 3. And finally, we have 1 multiplied by 3. Then the second row, we have 7 multiplied by 3. We have 0 multiplied by 3. And finally, negative 5 multiplied by 3. Now, let us simplify every entry here. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. So we have negative 9. Row 1, column 1. We have 2 times 3 is 6. So we have 6 here. We have 1 times 3 is the same thing as 3. To the second row, we have 7 times 3, which is 21. So we have 21 here. 0 times 3 is 0. Then negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. So this is equal to 3B. Once you multiply the entries of matrix B by a real number 3, you will obtain this new matrix. So now let us take the last one, which is negative A. Negative A is the same thing as multiplying the matrix A by negative 1. So the last one, which is Roman 3, we have negative A. And negative A is the same thing as negative 1 multiplied by A. And A is this matrix. So this becomes negative 1 multiplied by these entries. We have 4, 2, 3, and 12. So every 
single element in this matrix will be affected by this negative one. So we have, um, I can just do it directly, negative one times four is negative four, negative one times three is negative three, negative two, and negative 12. So this is our new matrix, which is negative E. So scalar multiplication of matrix is nothing but just the product of that real number and the given matrix. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.